In 1977, NASA launched two spacecraft, namely Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, on a mission to explore the outer solar system and beyond. These spacecraft have since traveled farther than any human-made object in history and continue to send back fascinating data to this day. They are now the only two operational spacecraft in interstellar space, beyond the Sun's influence. However, a recent discovery by the Voyager team has left scientists puzzled and even a bit frightened. It all began with the launch of Voyager 2 on August 20th, 1977, which was invented first, while Voyager 1 followed nearly two weeks later on a quicker trajectory. The two spacecraft are identical with 3.7 meter or 12 foot radio dishes to broadcast data back to Earth and a pair of 16 thrusters to adjust their orientations and direct their dishes toward Earth. The engines use hydrazine fuel, while the electrical components of each spacecraft are powered by plutonium-fueled thermoelectric generators. Each contains 11 scientific equipment, roughly half of which were developed specifically for planet observation and have since been turned off. Among the devices decommissioned are many cameras and spectrometers used to study planets and two radio-based studies. Voyager 2 currently has five operational instruments, a magnetometer, a spectrometer intended to study plasmas, a device for measuring low-energy charged particles, and one for cosmic rays, and a device for measuring plasma waves. Each Voyager spacecraft includes a golden gramophone record attached to its side, which is meant to serve as a time capsule from Earth to any alien life that may discover the probes in the far future. They are imprinted with a message from Jimmy Carter, the US president at the time of launch, which reads, This is a gift from a little faraway globe, a symbol of our sounds, our science, our sights, our music, our thoughts, and our sentiments. We are trying to survive our time so that we may live into yours. The record's covers include many pictures, including visual directions on how to play them, a map depicting our solar system's position concerning a group of 14 pulsars and a representation of a hydrogen atom. They are coated with uranium and the decay rate will enable future discoverers of each record to compute when it was made. On September 18, 1977, Voyager 1 took the first photograph to include Earth and Moon in the same frame. Part of the Earth and the Moon were visible in the photo, taken from roughly 7.25 million miles away. The planetary scientist who first saw the shot noted that it may serve as a reminder to people worldwide, we are all in this together. The photograph eventually gained recognition as a significant social artifact. In 1979, Voyager 2 passed Jupiter, Saturn in 1981, Uranus in 1985, and Neptune in 1989. According to the records, it is the only spacecraft to have visited Uranus and Neptune. It has contributed most of the data we currently use to describe them. Voyager 1 surpassed Voyager 2 only a few months after launch due to its faster speed and more straight course. It made a stop at Jupiter in 1979 and Saturn in 1980. In 1998, it surpassed Pioneer 10, the only other spacecraft in interstellar space at the time. It is currently the farthest distant man-made object from Earth. Throughout their grand solar system journeys, the Voyagers collected tens of thousands of photographs and data that altered our knowledge of the outer planets. They provided the first precise understanding of how Jupiter's atmosphere moves and changes, demonstrating that the Great Red Spot was a counterclockwise rotating storm that interacted with the other, smaller storms. They were also the first to detect a thin, dusty ring around Jupiter. One of their most striking observations is how they came across some of Jupiter's moons, discovering Io's volcanism, finding the linear features on Europa that were among the first hints that it might have an ocean beneath its surface, and bestowing Ganymede with the title of the largest moon in the solar system, a title previously held by Saturn's moon, Titan. Each spacecraft also sailed through Saturn, measuring the composition and structure of Saturn's atmosphere. At the same time, Voyager 1 gazed into Titan's thick cloud, 
Its discoveries led to the theory that Titan may contain liquid hydrocarbons on its surface, which has subsequently been confirmed by later missions. As the two missions viewed Saturn's rings, they discovered the well-known gaps and waves. Atlas, Prometheus and Pandora, three previously unknown moons of Saturn, were also found by Voyager 1. After this, Voyager 1 left the solar system, while Voyager 2 travelled toward Uranus. It discovered 11 previously unknown moons and two previously unknown rings. Several features discovered on Uranus, such as its specific magnetic field and an unexpected absence of large temperature fluctuations at various latitudes, remained unexplained. Neptune was Voyager 2's last visit, 12 years after it departed Earth. When it arrived, it made its run of discovering new moons by discovering six tiny satellites and rings around Neptune. It examined the planet's composition and magnetic field, much as it did with Uranus. It also discovered volcanic vents on Neptune's massive moon Triton before joining Voyager 1 on its journey to interstellar space. Because of the enormous disparity in size between the distances required, Interstellar travel is predicted to be far more challenging than interplanetary spacecraft. Interstellar space starts at the heliopause, when the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun, becomes too feeble to continue pushing against the interstellar medium, and the pressure from the two equalizes. Voyager 1 reached interstellar space in August 2012, followed by Voyager 2 in November 2018. These exits helped astronomers pinpoint the precise location of the edge of interstellar space, which is difficult to discern from inside the solar system. They discovered that interstellar space starts around 18 billion kilometers, that's 11 billion miles from the Sun. The spacecraft continues to transmit information on the structure of the interstellar medium. 45 years after its launch, NASA's Voyager 1 is still traveling beyond the solar system. The probe usually functions, however, NASA claims that readouts from its Attitude Articulation and Control System, also known as AACS, didn't seem to correspond with the spacecraft's motions and orientation, indicating that the object is unsure about its position in space. The spacecraft's antenna appears to be correctly oriented. Even if system data may suggest otherwise, it is receiving and carrying out NASA orders and relaying data back to Earth. The AACS maintains Voyager's antenna aimed directly toward Earth, which allows it to communicate NASA data on the surrounding interstellar environment. At this point in the Voyager mission, a mystery like this one is expected, according to Suzanne Dodd, Project Manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Dodd and her crew are trying to determine what is causing the robot envoy from Earth to transmit useless data. The engineering team is facing some significant obstacles, Dodd added. One significant one is that it takes light 2 days and 20 hours and 33 minutes to get from Earth to Voyager's present interstellar position. They discovered that the spacecraft's altitude articulation and control system failed, leading to the explorer's disorientation in space. It was trying to communicate with a defunct computer, which distorted the data before it reached NASA's receivers. Fortunately, the issue could be resolved from the ground control center. A few months later, the problems were solved as announced by Dodd, We are happy to have the telemetry back. We'll do a full readout of the AACS and look at everything that it's been doing. This will help us try to discover the problem that caused the telemetry issue in the first place. So, we're cautiously optimistic, but we still have more investigating to do. The spacecraft is 45 years, far older than the mission planners had planned. However, the identical Voyager 2 probe is operating correctly. Both probes should still have enough power to continue obtaining information about their unusual surroundings since they are both still operating well. The extended mission of Voyager 1 is anticipated to last until around 2025, when its radioisotope thermoelectric generators will run out of electricity to power its scientific equipment. According to NASA, the probe will be traveling quietly across space with its audio-visual golden record on board, whose sounds and pictures were chosen to represent the transmission of life and culture 
on Earth. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.